Rolling, rolling, rolling. Young Newtons and rolling. Drake Milligan is rolling. Roll high. <laughs> so what's happened? It's been a minute since I've yeah, seen you. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's been a it's been a busy year. It's been a lot of lot of shows. Yeah. Seems like a couple of months ago, or several months ago, you were were you at C C to C? No, were, that was last year. Yeah. Oh, was it last, last year? La, la, we're, I'm going back tomorrow. I leave tomorrow <laughs> to go to go back. I think that's what happened last time I was talking to you. Yeah. We were talking about C to C. You're like, yeah, I'm about, I'm about to leave. Yeah. And you had your boys, sort of your your crew with you. Mm -hmm. uh, is everybody going to be headed back? Oh yeah, we're headed back. We're headed back. So it was it was crazy. Like last year, we played like a uh, theater at the O2, like the first day of the festival, and played like a 45 minute set there. And word spread, and now they invite us back. We're playing the main stage at uh, all the C to C dates. So. Tell, and, and tell me about sort of that, that fandom in, in, in Europe. I mean, they love country music, and has they social love. media taken it to another level over there? Well, I, you know what? The cool thing about it, it's so old school over there. It seems like in a way because it's so word of mouth. You know, like if they, it seems like you know those however many people that were at our show. You know, it's probably like you know, 1,500 or something in that theater. It's like they told all their friends and their friends checked out my music. It's like so word of mouth. And they love the old school stuff. Like they love, you know, like anybody with a little Elvis flair or Johnny Cash or, you know, that kind of old school stuff. They love it. So and they embrace sort of that country lifestyle. I mean, they do. Do, do you sense there are a lot of country folk over there? I think so. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I think so. I mean, it's just, it's it's been cool and we're going to a lot of new places over there this year too. So like, going off Rotterdam and Berlin and, wow. and places I've never been to. So it's... Is there a certain place you'd love to perform over there? Like, you know, as far as a historical place? Uh, I don't know about historical. <laughs> uh, we are, this we are is going, the spot. Yeah, we're, going, we're playing like a club show in Switzerland while, while we're there, which I've just always wanted to see. Mm. Um, but yeah, country music is, is uh, worldwide. And it then is. we go to Australia from there, which yeah. I've never been to. So, Have you ever been on that flight to Australia? No. <laughs> no. I'm like, wow. yeah, I'm going to be taking melatonin like Tic Tacs. Yeah, yeah. You know? Let's talk about your, your the short film called Girl Problems. Yeah. Uh, I mean, obviously, you are, you are a performer. Mm -hmm. um, I mean, how much goes into that, you know, putting on a, a short film like that? Uh, well, I mean, I you know, I, my background is kind of in acting. You know, I played Elvis on Sun Records and... And uh, kind of fell into that role, but uh, my manager uh, is a guy named Leslie Greif, and he was the executive producer on on Sun Records, and, and works in a lot of TV and film. And so we just like to have fun. It's like we we kind of take some of that world and try to incorporate that in the videos, and just try to tell a story. I can kind of do a little bit of acting and kind of you know feed that bug, and and uh, yeah, it's it's. It's and that, a lot. And and we're a, always throwing stuff together anyways. I mean, these videos, we're like, you know, doing them in this amount of time, you know, with this much money, and we're like trying wow. to, but it's, but it's fun, you know? It's, we got a great crew, and so it's fun. Like, those videos were great, because I, we did them here, and I had like all the band in there, and had some of my friends, like friends from Texas, yeah. and friends from around town, Yeah. so we just all like, had a ton of fun. And what single are you pushing right now, man? Uh, any of them, baby. <laughs> Any of them. I love that. Listen, any of them. I love to be able to have that have that freedom now in 2024. You know, in well, the past, there were, so many people were like, "Listen, this is the song," and now it's like, "Play what you want." Yeah, I mean, it, well, it's it's well, it's great. This jukebox songs EP, you know, uh, I'm so proud of it. But it's like, it seems like everybody's picking a different song right now. Wow. You know, you, you, like, give them the EP, and everybody's like. They want this. They want you know jukebox songs and barstool beers. They want I got a problem. They want what I couldn't forget. It's like, what does know, your audience tell you? I mean, not your social audience, but when you're performing in yeah. front of the audience, well, what what is what is the one where you're like this is? Uh, well, I got a problem has been yeah. has been. It's such a singable song, and it's been a good one. You know, I do the last chorus where I'm like, all right, y'all help me sing it down. Everybody's been like screaming <laughs> back to me. So that that one I think is is kind of sticking out for now. Thank you for for getting up and taking the time to always. Uh, Hang out with your yeah, fellow Texas brother. Yeah. Talking hits with Drake Milligan.